that boat? No, not that boat. But we did spend a month exploring Albania's Riviera. Yeah, Albania has a Riviera and it's gorgeous. If you think about Albania's location, it makes sense. Just south of Croatia, Montenegro, and just on Greece's northern border, why wouldn't it be beautiful? The nice thing is most of it is still undisturbed, unlike France or Italy. Tourism is exploding here, and it has become a hotspot for Europeans over the last few years. Until 1991, Albania was a communist country and pretty much closed to the Western world, but people are starting to notice its beautiful landscape, friendly people, and affordable vacation spots. The coastline has something for everyone. From the promenade of Laura to the nightlife of Xamil, you can find your place in the sun. The country boasts 300 plus sunny days a year with a typical Mediterranean climate. And considering it has been occupied by the Greeks, Romans, and Ottomans long before the communist, it offers amazing historical sites. Let's start with Valora, Albania's third most populated city, but with less than 200,000 residents, not a major metropolis at all. The entire city from Old Town, which is an absolute must for dinner, to the beachfront promenade with everything else that you could want. Valora is a great place to start. The city is completely walkable, but also offers a good public transportation system. Yeah, Albania has a tradition. Every evening families get together and they go for a walk. And here in Valora, along the promenade, beautiful spot to do so. All the little cafes and the restaurants, places just to stop and have a coffee. But it's one of the best things that you could do every night. Just 70 kilometers from Vlora, on what was a gorgeous drive through the mountains and along the coast, is Homara. And a fairly undeveloped section of the Riviera. The natural beauty of this area was by far my favorite. With far fewer tourists, cheaper prices, interesting excursions, gorgeous beaches, and the clearest of water. We spent a week here, but we could have relaxed even longer. If the beach is your idea of holiday, it won't disappoint. And the boardwalk is a wonderful way to spend the peaceful evenings. From great restaurants to a few nightclubs, it has something for everyone. Speaking of restaurants, what you'll find for food is pretty standard all along the coast. At its closest point, Albania is just 50 miles or so from Italy, and it shares a border with Greece, so naturally the cuisine of both countries is very common. On the waterfront, you will find affordable and delicious seafood, along with other things you would associate with the Mediterranean coast. But don't skip the traditional Albanian dishes, as they are also fantastic, not to mention the Albanian wine. After all, Albania is one of the oldest wine regions in Europe, and the mother of French and Italian vinos. When in Himara, don't miss sunset from the old castle, just a two or three euro cab ride from the beach. It is a sight not to miss. We did a half day boat trip for just 30 euro a piece along the coast, stopping at numerous beaches only accessible by boat. It also included amazing caves. Definitely my favorite excursion of the trip. You can also see an abandoned Soviet era submarine tunnel that looks like something straight out of a Hollywood movie. The southernmost part of the Riviera is Saranda and Samil. We passed through Saranda and spent a few hours there, but not an overnight. What you will find is a very large public beach, a cruise boat and ferry port. Ferries to Italy and Corfu are frequent, making this a busy town. It is built on a beautiful hillside that offers many opportunities for tourists. But we chose to spend our time in Samil, just a 15 or 20 minute ride from the port. There's a public bus between the two towns for just 40 cents a person. 
Samil is by far the most popular part of the Albanian Riviera and for a really good reason. The beaches are beautiful. But to be honest, I had a few issues with the area. A vast majority of the beaches are privately owned by the hotels. If you're staying at one of these waterfront dream destinations, it's probably not an issue. But if not, you'll find it a little bit more challenging. The beaches are covered with umbrellas and sunbeds, numbering in the thousands and costing 10 euros a day on the low end. We did find a few free public beaches and enjoyed the crystal clear waters. One of the biggest pluses to the Kasamil area is Boutrent Archaeological Park. Deemed Albania's most important archaeological site, it is worth the visit. Grab the bus on the main street, the same one that goes from Saranda and continues to Boutrent. It is a great place to spend a few hours. This site has ties to the ancient city of Troy in Turkey. Its ruins include ancient Roman theater, the Venetian castle, and small but impressive museum. The views above are worth the short trip from town. As I stated earlier in this video, the Albanian Riviera is beautiful and well worth the visit, but do it sooner than later. Tourism is definitely exploding, and as it does, prices will inevitably climb. Shorelines will give way to more big resorts, and the beaches will fill with more umbrellas and lounges. Come and see why we absolutely fell in love with this wonderful country. Thanks for watching.